all of our guys are trained in every aspect of firefighting, whether it be engine company operations or ladder operations or rescue operations. Everybody's trained to do everything here. Unlike the bigger cities where you may be riding just a ladder company and that's your job and that's all you do. When you go out to a fire, you go up and do your ladder company operations and you're finished. You're done. You come back down and you're finished your job at that fire. Here, you never know what you may be called to do when you get to a fire. At any given moment, you may be called to do pumping operations. You may be the first guy to go in on a line into a structure fire. You may be the guy that has to go in with another guy to go search for victims in a house. Or you may be the guy that has to go up to the ladder, on the ladder, to the roof of a dwelling to perform ventilation. So. You never know what you're going to be doing here, and you have to be trained for everything. We try to train every shift depending on the weather, you know, from car extrications to, you know, rope rescue, you know, just basic uh, operations. There's so much more stuff you can learn about, it's great. So, I mean, that's rewarding in itself, just learning more every day. We try to, to be the best that we can, and the only way you can do that is continually training. Engine 3 to control. <laughs> We advise all units will be out for training. Uh, notify, notify us of alarms by radio, please. You guys ready? You know what you're doing when you're trained. It, it's, it, it really creates a great working atmosphere. We'll take our, our pumpers and test them to make sure that they can pump the water because you don't want to go into a fire and say, okay, turn the water on and nothing comes out. As you can see, this, this is a basic ladder evolution that we did right now. The training part of this is being used to pulling up to a fire scene and do what you have to do to get the ladder hooked up, the engine hooked up, in pump, and supply water to this ladder in the event that we need it. This, this truck is designed to do 1,000 gallons a minute, and we were only doing 350 gallons a minute. And what we have it running for maybe 10 minutes, so although it sounds like a tremendous amount of water. I mean, you're talking about 3,000 plus gallons. It's not a lot. I mean, we could run at a typical fire, uh, the one the other night in Plainfield that we had responded to, there was probably hundreds of thousands of gallons of water. <laughs> For me, it's just getting up there two times, just getting more comfortable with being up there. The first time it was very nerve-wracking. We did it as a volunteer. We did training. And it was like, wow, this is really high. But then, like, as you go up it a little bit more often, we, sometimes we'll just take it and set it up in the back of the firehouse, extend it up, just go up and down it to get a little bit more familiarized with it. Put your boots on, put a scot on, grab a tool, climb up and down it. Just, it's a matter of just being familiarized with the equipment and uh, just setting your comfort zone up for it. As you can see, you're pretty high up right now, and you're only up about 90 feet, 95 feet. You get up another 15, another 15 feet, and you feel like you're way up, way up in the air. This ladder can go 110 feet, so we can pretty much reach any roof of any house in the town. <laughs> 